Hello Libra and welcome to your September 2019 monthly reading. Libra, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. Libra, this is for you. What is going on with Libra, September 2019? If this resonates with you, Libra, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Libra, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Libra. This is for Libra for September 2019. What is going on with Libra? What is going on with Libra for September 2019? Okay. Okay, so um, this is this is a lot about you here, Libra. Okay, this is all about you and starting new chapters in your life. Um, I, I'm seeing new love coming in. That's what I'm seeing. Something more balanced um, for you, and it's. <laughs> It looks really good. I feel like there is the potential for a higher level of commitment here. We have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. This is Taurus energy. So I am going to um, read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, then all the better. Keep in mind time is fluid and some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Okay, so higher levels of commitment here. Um, this is the potential. Maybe this is the goal here for you. Maybe this is the goal here for this person that's coming towards you. Um, maybe it's, it's the goal for both of you here. But I'm seeing a new beginning that's going to be a little bit more balanced all right so let's see yeah it, it's going to put you at a crossroads i feel like libra this is a new path for you which is excellent okay so you're going to have a big decision to make here the ball is going to be in your court so two of wands here this is fire energy aries leo sagittarius and i feel like you are going definitely going to decide to go the path that leads to your happiness here to lead that leads to higher levels of commitment for sure right ten of cups with the hierophant yeah so this is a happy partnership this is happy family this is happy home this is ten of cups full of love water energy here so that is very good another new beginning here libra look at that i feel like you're going to take a risk on this i do i feel like you're going to be very open to this and and ready to take that leap of faith with somebody okay so this is very, very good, okay? So you're going to open up your heart. Right now, you're a little closed. You're a little closed, um, but that's okay. I feel like in the end, you're going to take a risk with this individual. Um, I feel like, Libra, the reason that you're a little closed is what, what you're dealing with at present moment, okay? I feel like you have been left out in the cold. I feel like you are um, feeling pretty alone right now with that five of pentacles that's earth energy taurus virgo and capricorn but what is crossing that is waiting it's like you're waiting to come in from the cold from with someone but it's just not happening okay so i feel like you you're just going to cut this energy out and you're going to move forward that's what i'm seeing 
That's what I'm seeing here. So you're tired of being alone. You're tired of waiting. I'm seeing you turning your back on the past and I'm seeing you look forward to your future. Okay, three of wands. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And can I just say that your future looks very, very bright. Once we turn our back on this, this waiting and this waiting um, from uh, this waiting period that we've been in and this, you know, feeling quite alone. Um, once we turn our back on this and start looking ahead and stop waiting, right? We can't go back to that, Libra. <laughs> I feel like this is putting you at a crossroads, right? And I feel like you're headed towards something so much bigger, so much better, right? You're headed towards something so much bigger and so much better, for real. All right, so that's what we're dealing with right now. Just, you know, making a decision to turn our backs on, on past and being ghosted and left alone and feeling kind of shut out of a situation. And we are looking towards the future, right? That's what we're dealing with right now. At the root of this reading, Libra, is where's the love at? Where's this brand new beginning in love at? That's what you're looking forward to. That's the decision that you're making. That is where you're headed. Um, so Ace of Cups here, this is more water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I do see someone coming in that is highly intelligent individual here. Okay. That's what I'm seeing coming towards you. Um, but they're going to um, provide you balance. And I do feel like this is a fresh new start for you. I feel like this is your new beginning in love here, Libra. I do. In the past, I feel like you took a time out. You took a little break from, I'm going to say love, <laughs> okay? Uh, this person that you were dealing with in the past, I don't feel like you were even speaking to them anyway, especially with these two cards here. And it's like you were waiting, 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 and nothing seems to be, there's no movement uh, with this past person here. There's no movement. So, yeah turning your back, looking towards the future now. So you're choosing a different path right now, Libra, okay? And that path, I feel, is going to lead to a brand new beginning and love for you. But in the recent past, you were just kind of on a, on a break. You were in deep thought about what you were want, wanting to do. Should I keep waiting? Should I keep putting in, in all this energy into something that may or may never happen here, right? And I feel like you come out of this thinking process with the Four of Swords. Uh, maybe even some of you went to counseling, right, to figure this out. Or, you know, talk to your trusted advisors or, you know, friends, family, things of that nature. And um, I feel like there was a decision made here to start moving forward. You know, and I feel like this came up in one of the daily readings and I, you know, and I was like, you know, I'm a Libra too and I'm not playing this waiting game anymore because I've been there. I have so been there. <laughs> and, you know, if, if it's meant to be, whatever's meant to be, it's going to be, you know, but we can't put our lives on hold for a maybe, you know, we got to, we got to keep it moving, Libra. So... In the near future, you're closing out these past chapters here. Like I said, you're turning your back on the past and you're moving forward. You're keeping it moving, Libra. And I feel like this is where this new chapter, you're going to be bringing in this new chapter here for yourself. So that is very good. Somebody's got some sort of offer for you. What's crowning this reading is you've been at a stalemate for a very long time trying to decide, you know, should I keep waiting? Should I keep putting energy in the, into something that may or may not happen, like I said before? And you've been very, very closed off emotionally to giving your heart. But that is about to change. Once you make this decision to start going down another path to see what's out there, Libra, I feel like you're going to open yourself up to new beginnings, to new experiences here, 
okay? So this person's very closed off and you've been kind of at a standstill. Now this person's, their arms are wide open and their heart is wide open. So I feel like once this decision is made and you start veering down a different path and, and seeing what's out there and looking for new chapters, I feel like it's going to happen for you, right? So that's very, very good. And the potential for a higher level of commitment with this individual is pretty strong here. What you're looking for is that equilibrium. You want an equal give and take here. This past energy, it was not balanced for you, Libra. Okay, there's your scales right there. And it threw you off. It threw you off kilter. So this uh, new energy that's coming in, um, they are going to be uh, receptive to you they're not going to take advantage of of you you put the work in they'll put the work in they call you you call them it's very equal it's very balanced and that's a very good thing for us libras right six of pentacles this is earth taurus virgo capricorn i feel like the energy coming towards you and yes it could be an air sign or somebody with air in their chart keep that in mind the energy of this king of swords that's coming towards you male or female is a highly intelligent individual, okay? Um, probably has this awesome sense of humor and, and can be very quick, right? Real quick. Um, so this person tends to think with their head and not their heart, right? But this is a person that's going to be more on your level let's say that okay um so that's very good uh this is a person that could work in um it let's see um anything with involving higher levels of intelligence right so yeah this person's extremely smart and uh, very quick-witted and has a, a beautiful way of speaking. You can talk to this individual for long periods of time. They're all about communication, so that's very good. Um, and they'll, they'll want to get to know you, okay? So that's also very good. They, they look for that clarity. So King of Swords, right? I feel like that's what's coming towards you, this new chapter that's coming towards you. And that's the energy of this individual, okay? So in your hopes and fears, I feel like you're hoping that the past hasn't uh, kind of shut you off and made you completely guarded from opening up. I don't feel like that is going to be an issue here once this person rolls in. I don't feel like that's going to be an issue at all. I feel like that's just a fear. I feel like you're going to be very open to this individual. But, you know, sometimes we can close down after so many heartbreaks. But I feel like you're going to be very receptive to this. You're going to be very open to this. And I feel like maybe you're afraid that this person isn't going to be very open emotionally but I, to you. But I feel like that's just a fear also. Um, I, I feel like you are hoping that you'll be able to let go of the past because this is somebody that's, you know, kind of holds on tight to situations, somebody that's greedy with their emotions kind of thing. This is known as the miser of the tarot. So four of, um, pentacles, this is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like all that's just a fear. I feel like you're going to be very open and receptive to this person. And I feel like vice versa, they're going to be very open and receptive to you. And I feel like once this new energy hits and the conversation starts flowing, I feel like you're, you will be able to turn your back on the past and let go of situations that is just simply not going anywhere, Libra. All right. The outcome here is the sun card. So this is the happiest card of the tarot. I always say that Leo energy. 
So this trumps every card on this table. This is all about your happiness, Libra. This is all about new beginnings. This is all about you having realizations and just feeling awake and alive again. So this is very good. This energy is going to make you very happy because it's going to bring you balance back into your life where there was no balance before with this past energy. It was all very one-sided, I feel. So we've got new beginnings, new beginnings. Where is that new beginnings? Where's that new chapters, taking risks on new beginnings, new beginnings in love and new beginnings. This is all fresh energy, Libra. This is all fresh energy. And I just feel like, you know, sometimes you just get sick of waiting around for something that there's there's was simply no movement all right let's clarify that sun card i really don't want to but we're going to <laughs> i really don't want to libra but we're going to all right this is for libra september 2019 what is going on here for libra what is going on here for Libra, please clarify that sun card for Libra. <laughs> again, it wanted to show its face again. Can I, did you see how long I was shuffling them? Look, new beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings. Taking a risk on your own happiness here. No more waiting. No more stalling. No more dragging your feet. No more being stuck, being self-sacrificing and being stuck in a past situation that's not, there's no movement. Look at that. Oh my God. Can I um, get another new beginning here? So um, not only is it going to be a beginning in love, but it's going to be pretty hot, Libra. <laughs> Libra. I mean, my God, Ace of Wands, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Look at this. It's new beginnings all over the place. All right, let's see what's behind there. Yeah. Laying, laying the past down, laying them burdens down. You were, you, you were the one that was putting in the work. It was very back and forth with this Knight of Wands. Fire, more fire. Very back and forth. Look at you moving on. Six of swords. You're moving on from all that drama. You don't want back and forth. You're laying that burden down. You're tired of it. You're exhausted of it. So you're choosing a new path. And you're turning your back on a situation here. This is known as one of the playboy, playboy, playgirl of the tarot, right? So back and forth, in and out. Really not going anywhere. So... It was very one-sided. Um, I feel like your heart was in it. You were in it. They were just kind of playing games, possibly. Or it just, it couldn't, it could not be a settled energy, you know? So you're just laying that down. You're letting it go. You're tired. You're tired of all that. It was too much drama, way too much drama. And now you're moving on to your happiness, Libra, with that Six of Swords there. You're, you're leaving the past behind. And you're moving forward to all of these beautiful new beginnings. No more self-sacrificing. No more stalemate. No more standing still and waiting for something to happen that just simply wasn't happening. I feel like you gave it your all. You did the best that you could, but the decision is made to close this chapter and to move forward. And it's like once you decide to do that, all these wonderful things are happening here, Libra. Okay, so let's pull some romance angels. All of these new beginnings are happening. New beginnings all over this reading, Libra. Hallelujah. All right. This is for Libra for September 2019. What's going on here for Libra? What's going on here for Libra? What's going on here? All right. This is for Libra. This is for Libra for September 2019. What is going on here with Libra? 
So yeah, the feelings are most definitely going to be mutual. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So that it's a nice balance here. You're not going to have to guess at what this person is feeling or thinking. You know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of nice conversation with this individual. And I told you, they wanted to get to know you. Did I not say that? Getting to know each other. This one right here. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This person is all about communication and getting to know a person. Okay. Yeah, the passion's there. The attraction's there. And the emotion is going to be there. This is... <sighs> And you're going, the more you get to know this person, it's, it's going to blow your mind. Okay. This person's going to blow your mind. I'm telling you, look, this is going to make you extraordinarily happy, Libra. And all of this standing still and this, you know, waiting around for a past situation to change or to come about or whatever the case may be, you're just done. You're, you're, you're looking for all of this new energy and man, is it ever coming in? This is somebody fresh and new for you. So, and it's going to be quite romantic, right? And it's going to be equal. We're not going to be the one carrying the weight of the whole situation. We're not going to be the ones doing all the work. It's going to be a mutual exchange. So, Libra, fantastic reading. Way to kick off September 2019. <laughs> All right. I am a Libra today. All right. So, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can find me now on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secretaro1111. And I will leave those links down below in the description box. You can also find those links in my about section. You can also find the schedule that I have um, for the weekly readings and the live schedule in the description box of each video and my about section. And um, I usually go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time, give or take, right? Um, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Next week, I'll be working on the How Do They Feel About You readings for September 2019. Libra, I am so in love with your reading. <laughs> I hope this one's for me too. I hope this one comes to pass for me too, okay? I'm right there with you. All right, y'all, you take very good care of yourself and have a wonderful week and a great day. Take care and God bless.